Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. And, uh, well, there's something interesting uh, that I wanted to show you guys. If you uh, want to decode FT8, which is an amateur radio digital mode, and if you are using an SDR Play device with SDR Uno, well, a plugin is available that you can download that is to add in the um, plugin folder inside the uh, SDR Uno software. And what happens is that, so this is what you hear and see here. That's what sound the uh, FD8 sounds like. I know a lot of people hear this when they tune the mains and wonder what's what's this, these crazy tones. What is that's so weird? Well, this is FT8. These are all the stations on FT8 that are right here. I'm on 30 meter band amateur radio 10136 right now. So, um, what you do is you, of course, place the uh, plugin in the plugin folder. And then it'll be available here, and you can go choose the FT8, load the plugin. It will mute your audio because it changes to um, a different output. And then you just let it do its job, and you're going to see that um, here, in this white panel, you will have the decoding of the different amateur stations that will pop up uh, with all the information, the time, the signal strength, uh, and the contact information that you have when you, you simply decode FT8 in general. So um, this is a new plugin that's available, and then you'll get all the information here on this uh, panel. So you just let it, you know, take a uh, take a listen, and you'll see all the uh, FT8 stations appear and go down, and uh, so you'll have the information of uh, the time. Um, You'll have the uh, offset. You'll have the uh, the actual actual frequency actually that they are on. You of course have the information. So type one or two because a contact is always two ways. So it's there's one, and then there's two. So you have whatever side that you're uh, checking out one or two or two of two, and you have of course the call signs so N eight WCP here and uh, K four uh, TTU and so on, and uh, all the information that is uh, their uh, grid square locator and so on. So it's kind of cool. It's a uh, nice little uh, add-on here to uh, check out the um, different um, information of uh, FT8 on the different bands. So you, all you have to do is tune an FT8 frequency, and when you tune one, you will be decoding whatever uh, FT8 is in there with this plugin, it kind of works uh, nicely. And here we go, I've got on the uh, 40 meter band now. So you see here as it's decoding, you get all the information of the decode that you have. And uh, there's a few uh, options here. There's the presets, uh, which would tell you uh, exactly what frequencies you can tune. So 1407, it says 475 here, but 1474 oh, usually. Uh, 10136 and so on. Uh, so you can check it out and uh, check out what's there. And apparently there's some preset files, so I don't know exactly what that is. But uh, you can check it out. Uh, and uh, you can uh, decode some uh, FT8 uh, on the uh, amateur bands using this plugin. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for um, checking out the channel. Let's just check out here. It says settings, but it doesn't pop up anything else. So it seems that nothing there. So uh, interesting to, uh, to uh, use and check out if you want to try FT8 without having to install software like a WSJTX and so on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching my videos on this uh, channel. I'm not sure it's decoding every... Um, it's decoding a lot. I um, just wonder, it says type 1, 2... 
one, two. I'm just curious if we see the whole thing. Because it always says type one, two. So I'm not sure, anyways, if anybody has a little more info and details on the uh, on using the plugin, let me know. Uh, but I uh, wanted mostly to show you guys that it's available. If you do install the plugin, use it, and the audio cuts out, and you want to have the audio back, just go and choose your uh, mode again. For example, here USB, and it'll be back at the standard uh, mode that you're using. Remember also, if you do use an external software like WSJTX, that you need to have in USB the bandwidth at 3000 hertz, because that is the bandwidth for FT8. There's a uh, FT8 uh, 3 kilohertz wide for FT8, the different channels to be there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.